personally think there's a difference between being sexy or sexual and a hoe, just like you said. Now, to be sexy, I truly believe it's the cute woman in the work dress. You know, she's had a hard day at work, but she's still got enough time to have that very beautiful look and that flirtatious manner about herself. Flirting, to me, is sexy. You know, if you got a good flirt, that's cool. Somebody flirts and smiles or whatever, that's very sexy to me. A hoe, on the other hand, to me, is somebody willing to flirt, but to do everything that they flirted. You know, in other words, like, you, I'll do this, and then they try to do that. You know what I mean? Um, I love your analogy, though. Sexual versus a hoe. Okay. Once again, sexual to me is, like I said, that beautiful woman dressed up nice with a flirtatious manner. The one that could speak. The one that can talk to you and be happy. And, you know, there's a certain bounce without being hoeish. You know what I mean? Um, a hoe is someone who has no inhibitions. Someone who want to get their groove on. If they can't find A, then they go to B. If they can't find B, they go to C. If they can't find C, they go to D. You know what I mean? In other words, a hoe is someone who leaves nothing to the imagination. And then, when you tell them you got an imagination, they're like, please, I've done that before. A hoe, to me, is someone who don't give a damn. You know, it's like, you know, if I want to get my groove on, I'll get my groove on. And now. A hoe, to me, is someone who just does it because they can. You know, maybe somebody who talks themselves into a situation and then, you know, just to prove I can do this, I'm going to do that. And that's a hoe. Um, you know, you're like a niece to me. You've been there ever since I started YouTube. And I'm telling you, you know, if you're not on point, then you ain't on YouTube. And I know it's about that about you. You're always on point. Um, a lot of people don't agree with you, but unlike me, I noticed in reading some of the comments on your page, they don't scrutinize you like they scrutinize some of these other people. And I don't know. Maybe you got your niche, and maybe we're still trying to find ours. Um... But like I said, the most beautiful thing in the world is a woman who is very sensual, who can flirt, and not do nothing. In other words, you know, I could, but I can't. It feels so good, but I won't. I know you want it, but you know you ain't getting it. You know what I mean? It's that feeling of, you know, if this situation was different, you know, one of those. That's that's what I'm talking about. If this situation was different, mm, that's the kind of sexual, sensual thing that, you know, is attractive to a real man. Now, a hoe, don't get me wrong. When I was young, I was a hoe. Yeah, yes, yes. The real AIX was actually handsome enough to be a hoe at one time. And, you know... In those days, when you're younger, it's just to see how many girls you can get with. How many girls you think you can hook up with. And when you're young and blind, you don't know what the hell you're doing. So I was pretty young and stupid. I remember one time, my cousin, man, he's the most handsome man on the planet Earth. I'm like, damn, man, you look too damn good. <laughs> and you know, his name was Rick. That's all I'm going to say. So Rick and Dex... You know, it was, um, you know, there before I got there. When I got there, you know, around these two guys, um, you know, Rick was the playboy. It was like Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. Rick was Dean Martin, and Dex was Jerry Lewis. And, you know, Jerry Lewis never got the girls. So Dex being a little closer to me than Rick was. But, you know, I die for Rick, and Rick is already gone. So, um... And saying that, they would go out and one would play stupid and one would play smart. So when there's two guys and they had their routine going, and then bam, you got another dude just pop up and he's with them. So one of us had to step up and be the hoe. 
And these guys, you know, they had women and everything, but when 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 I hooked up with these two, I had more experience with women. So the class of women that we were around went up once I got there. The age of them went up too. Because I spoke at a different level than they did, even though we were all the same age. So in saying that, I remember one time Rick's like, hey man. Man, that girl I was with was bam. Woo. And then Dex was like, man, he should have seen Rick was in, you know, rare form, you know. You can't beat that. And we used to always try to beat each other with women. And like I said, you know, Rick, me and Dex, we used to go do our thing. And um, one day, you know, after they were telling me, you know, hey, you can't beat that. Call this girl up. Come on through. You know, see me. You know, I really want to see you. Just come on through. So she came through. You know, we kicked it. Back in them days, we used to knock the boots and shit. So I knocked the boots and shit. And I didn't think nothing up. And Rick was like, "Yeah, uh -huh. but she ain't all that cute." And I'm like, "Wait a minute." There's a knock on the door. You know, so-called other girlfriend, whoever the hell she was. I knocked them boots too back in the day. And Rick was like. Dex was like, what the hell? Yeah, I had a double header that day. I was a hoe. So Rick and Dex, you know, they, after that moment, I'm like, damn, this boy had a double header five minutes apart. I don't see how he did it. Well, I did it because when I was 13 years old, my girlfriend was 23 years old. That's how life was for me. You learn certain things when you need not learn them to get the job done, a job in which you should not be doing at 13. I'm gonna leave that alone. So when you're younger, you're more likely to be hoish. When you get older, you're more likely to be in tune with your sexuality with inside you. So in other words, when you're young and stupid, you experiment. And when you're old and know what you do, you pick and choose. That's about all I can say about that. But, the greatest thing on the planet Earth is a beautiful woman that can flirt and you know you're not getting nothing. It's the most sexual thing on the planet is somebody that can look at you with their eyes and tell you all that you want to know and not say nothing. It's an excitement that you can't get, you can't have because you don't get it and you never have it. See what I'm saying? It's the ultimate tease and respect. In other words, oh my God, like I said, if things were different, woo, girl, mm, ha ha. And that's the feeling that most men want, to know that they still got it or they can still get it. And a lot of women want that same feeling to know that I still got it. I can still get it. But a hoe, get it. Just get it to be getting it because they can. And that is my definition sexual and a hoe. I know it didn't make no sense to me so I'm pretty sure it don't make no sense to you. But, you know, I can only say so many words without going overboard or being too sexual. So, thank you for your time little one. And um, maybe this brought you a man's perspective because an older man will tell you the best seen art is viewed the best horror is passed around nobody wants something that somebody else had so let me view all I can because I've already had enough thank you and you've been too go check that son